left, you know, right, stuff right. like that from, from a year ago. I mean, like I said, I, I listened to, I had a delivering job for to deliver food for a while, and I used to listen to a lot of the mm. Florida games after football season was over, a lot of the Florida yeah, basketball of games. Of course, I love Mick Hubert on the radio. Um, but, I mm. mean, after, after you know, the, the football season was over, the, the Gators struggled last year. So, for them to be number seven, I, that's interesting to say. Yeah. Um, uh, because, again, they, they had a tough season a year ago. Um, but, I mean, Michigan State's ranked number one. Who won the national title last year? I forget. Who won the title last year? Who took home the – who won the national won title? all last year. Um, I don't, it wasn't – I'll tell you that much. I, I, it wasn't – I don't think it was Kentucky either. I don't think mm-hmm. Calipari won last year. Was it Duke? No, because no. Because Zion, they got eliminated out of the – they got eliminated. Who the heck did win? Was it Virginia? Did Virginia win the title a year ago? Let's see. The 2018 national championships. 2018 basketball. Here we go. Let's see. NCAA. Villanova. It was Villanova. Villanova is the one that won last year. That was. I think. I think it was them. Let me see. Maybe I'm wrong no, about that. Was two years ago. Last year was Virginia. Oh, Virginia was last year. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would that would be right. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. So it was Virginia, and they're out of the. I don't think they're even in the top ten. Well, prediction wise, they're not in the top ten. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Are you sure, Bud? Because they. Are you sure that Michigan didn't make it all the way to the championship game last year? That was two years ago. That was two, two years, years ago. ago. Okay. Yep. 2019 okay. was the last the NCAA championship final, 2019, Virginia. Beat was Virginia Texas. Texas. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, see, that's why they got them, because they had Michigan State made it to the final four last year. Yep. They lost Red the Raiders. Tech in the, yep. Right. Tech beat them. And then, then the other Final Four game was Virginia and Auburn, which the Tigers are in the up there too. So yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Michigan State beat Duke by one point in the Elite right, Eight. Right. So okay. Right, right. Because so Michigan what, lost the tag. Right. That's what happened. Yeah. That's what. <laughs> that's what happened. Okay. Well, I mean, that that was that was something that I wanted to that I saw the other day. I wanted to look in and and, and take yeah, a look yeah. and see. What the preseason? Um, the other, the other sport that oh yes he is. Uh, the other sport that um that I like to watch when it comes to, to college is college hockey. Uh, I love, I love watching hockey. college hockey. Um, th- it's it to me that's another thing like just like with college basketball, it is you never know who is going to win a game or who's going to be there at mm-hmm. the end. When it's all, now, mm-hmm. the top teams are all, you know, all up north. North Dakota, Michigan, Boston, Michigan State, just to name a few. Minnesota's another team that's top, in, that's always yeah, top. Minnesota Duluth. Notre Dame. Notre, Minnesota Duluth. Notre Dame's another one that's a top, you know, hockey team, you know, when it comes to. And let's see, let's see. So I'm going to look here. Has the college hockey season started? I know USF has a hockey team, but. but that's not the same when, it, when you're talking Penn about State. Penn State's another NCAA hockey. Okay, let's see who the hockey rankings are for D. Number one. Division one men's hockey. Let's see. I know who's number one. Denver. Is it Denver? I thought it was Michigan. No, they got Denver as number one. They're 6-0 and oh right now. <laughs> Uh, then they got Minnesota State, UMass, Cornell, Notre Dame, Wisconsin. Wait a minute. I just want to make sure I got – yeah, this is through October 21st. This is only three days ago. Wisconsin, hmm. Providence, Minnesota, Duluth, Quinnipiac, Boston College. Where is Michigan? They got to be on here. They're not in the top 20. That can't be right. 
That can't be right. They're not even in the top 20? That can't be right. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on a second. I'm on NCAA's website. This is the actual Division One, and they have... Oh, the power rankings. Okay. Yeah, the... the okay, so let's see. Okay, let's take a look here. Um, I know that the Frozen Four was here in Tampa a couple... Last few years, it's been here in Tampa at Amway Arena. It's been nice because you can, if you get a chance to go, go see them, mm. or just to go, just to go. Let's see, all conferences. Let's check Big Ten. Big Ten hockey. Let's see, no games today. Let's see, there are. I was listening to some hockey. I was listening to some college hockey the other week. Um... Michigan, Michigan is playing, but tomorrow. Against oh, okay. Western Michigan, they mm-hmm. haven't announced the drop of the puck yet. It's still to be determined. Uh, but they are there. Let's see, college hockey, number seventeen, Wisconsin sweeps defending champions. Number three, Minnesota Duluth. Okay. Yeah, they haven't announced, but what the drop? But if you, it's going to be a night. Now, see, I know. The biggest crowd ever for a hockey game was between who and who? Ever. Michigan, Either Michigan pro- State at the there big house, 110,000. There you go. That was the biggest. I, yeah, that God, was the, what a game that was. That, that was the, blew them out of the building. Run them right out of the building. Well, here's the thing. I, I know they're there because you guys have in your in-state rivals. So your in-state rival with the Spartans. Is it? Is it? Is it that much a rivalry too? But outside. Like a in basketball too, in in hockey. Oh yeah. Do you, oh, do you yeah. just hate East Lansing altogether, being that yeah, you guys are yeah. Harvard? Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Because that still stands as the as the biggest crowd ever for a pro or a college hockey game was that game. Yeah, and probably will for a while. Champion. Probably because even when they play the outdoor games in the NHL, they don't they're not at stadiums that big. They don't play no. in stadiums that big. They play in the NFL stadiums or major league baseball stadiums. They don't play in college no. football teams, which is kinda of weird because I would think if right. they could negotiate some kind of revenue with the college to take the stadium for a day. I can't see what it would hurt. I mean, other than maybe the football field being torn up by, you know, them putting down a sheet of ice. But other than that, it would be uh, interesting to, to say the least. I know, speaking of NHL, I know the Lightning are getting ready to go to Sweden to play international mm. hockey against the Buffalo Sabres. So that should, and that's, the Sabres okay. are off to a hot start this year, too. Yeah, um, so far. But, uh, but yeah, but I, I used to. I think it was either Friday. I think it was Friday nights. I think on it used to be. I don't know if it's still that way, but on Friday nights on NBC Sports Network, they used to air men's hockey, college hockey. Mm-hmm. It was college hockey, and then it would always be like a Notre Dame or a Michigan or one of the top programs, Boston University or Minnesota mm-hmm. Duluth, one of the, North Dakota, one of those you know big big schools, and they would. They, it's just fascinating to because again I love pro hockey as much as you know as I love pro football, but I love college mm-hmm. football too and I love college hockey and it, it's just to me like you like the same thing with college basketball. I think what it is is they're not they're trying to get to the next level. Not all of them are going to make it to the next level, but in college sports they they're playing to do that. So they're trying on every play whether you're playing football or you're up and down the court or you're, you know, throwing the puck or you're a goaltender or whatever it might be, whatever position you mm-hmm. happen to be playing. And college baseball as well. You're playing to get to the minors or you're playing to get to that next level um, yep, yep. to get to, you know, the, you know. So to me, I think that's what college is better is because they're trying harder to get to there now. I know they're trying to pay college athletes. Again, California pushed for that. And today, I'm, my lovely state is trying to pass that bill as well. So, to me, that's a slippery slope. Because, okay, 
you're going to do this, but remember, you have to be fair to everybody that's a student athlete. Yes, I know majority of the schools make money through football and basketball. But remember, not everyone's like that. And you have to make sure if you're going to go down that slope, you can't, you know, you, I don't know. It, 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 it's going to start what off. I like about it, to me, it will be that. Like it, it allows the athletes to make money off their likeness. So they can. And that's true. And that's true. And, and I don't have a problem with athletes not being paid, college athletes not being paid. Um, I just think that they should be able to make money off their license. I, you know, right. if if somebody were to make the, a game about uh, sports commentators, mm-hmm. I would be allowed to make my life, you know, I'd be allowed to license my likeness. Right, right. So why can't, why can't, you know, if they were to make computer engineering the game and they wanted to license, you know, um, some kid in, you know, why shouldn't he be allowed to make make money, you know, off of his likeness? Right. True. Why shouldn't the college athlete be able to make money off his license? You know, yeah. the NCAA makes all this money. They make billions yeah. of dollars. Off they make kids. the most money in any for any 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 league, even more than the NFL, MLB, NBA. They make more money than anybody. They don't pay their athletes. So there you go. <laughs> eh, they don't. They, they make more money than any of the professional leagues do. That's scary right, to, right. to think about that. But they they yep, yep. Because they make they have you know TV rights. They sell you know we all as fans go out and buy our teams T-shirts and hats and pennants and flags and we fly our colors everywhere. They make that's how they make all their money. And that's again mm-hmm. that's it's it's a scary situation when you think about that that that. They're making a boat, but big ton of money, and yet they don't have – up till this point, they're not paying their athletes. Now, that could change in the future, and it looks like to me that it's going to change in the future. And like I said, it, it, it's going to be interesting to see how much they pay per athlete or per sport or whatever they're going to do with it. But you can't just pay football and basketball players and not pay a swimmer or a hockey player or a tennis player. Or whatever, whatever sport it might be, lacrosse, see, golf. That's why I like. Right. That's why I like letting players life, you know, over. Um, that's why I like having play. You know, the 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 the, the NCA is not a paying athletes, so I I don't think it's I, there's not it's not like the NCAA is is paying its athletes. It's mm-hmm. the athletes being able to make money off their license or right. their likeness or, 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 you know, it's being able to sell their jerseys or sell their game rings or, or you know, merchandise or memorabilia or their signature. Right, 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 right. And these are the things that they should be, that, that anyone else in this circumstance, anyone else at college, because they're, if they're, you know, again, if they're computer engineering the video game was to become a thing, <laughs> and they wanted to sell their likeness, they would be allowed to. If they wanted yeah. to license their likeness to, they'd be allowed to because they're not a student athlete. Why can't the student athlete? Because it, it, it sullies the amateur athletics? Oh, give me a break. You know you know as well as I do that Alabama's playing their players under the table. Well, and we, I mean, yeah. We we know we know boosters we know that whole that whole thing again I mean and, and another movie that I could think of along the lines as far as sports movies goes is Blue Chips I, I don't know if you've seen that movie or not with right. with um, right. what's the guy's Nick Nolte is the head coach mm. what right. you, you you that that's going on everywhere I don't give a rat's ass what and I, if that makes me a bad person for thinking that then so be it. Because I know that stuff's going on. We know, yep. as fans of the universities that we respectively cheer for, other than maybe mm-hmm. a few of them, we know boosters are being, are getting these kids to come to their university, one way or the other. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I could use two thousand dollars because I'm kind of behind on my 
I kind of got in debt when I was in high school and didn't really have a job. And, you know, bam, 